Hey, this is Miss J, and I am here to make another tutorial. It is on applying images as far as if you have a, a layer with a, a certain cut out image that you want to use on your, on your um, design, but every time you try to import it into Flash with the effects, it doesn't work or doesn't transfer the, f the effects over. I'm going to show you how you can go about um, using it and changing it into. Um, Photoshop to move it into Flash and be able to use it. I have on my Photoshop document a picture of Akon. <clears throat> it's a regular picture. Um, I have, you know, the way it came to me. And now I'm gonna. What I normally do is, since it's basically already on, I put that background color already. I don't have to have a background color, but you know, leave it over there for now. And I would usually duplicate the layer. You can either press, hold, hold on to the layer and hit the new layer button, or you can do Control J for Windows, and I then hit Control Shift U to desaturate the picture, and just you know just makes it black and white, and then also to add like a, a little hint to it, I put try try overlay, I mean soft light, and then I make the opacity at 50 percent. You know, you see a difference, you know, you can just push it on and on, on and off, and you can see the difference in the in the picture. Now, what I normally do, if I want to keep this, I can either merge it by pressing Control e but since we're trying to get used to the apply image button, and then I'm going to show you how to do it like that. So here it is, again, you know, with the soft light covering over it then I disable the background put new layer again and hit image apply image now you see this box come up and it's gonna give you all these things up here when I do I just always hit multiply and as you can see it's already up here so then I hit OK and that's my new image so now you will see the image you save with these it'd be like a, new, a brand new image something that you just worked with now to do more effects, if you like have other effects that you be, that you do, we can double click on this and put a gradient over it. And you can see what I mean. So now if you transfer these over into Photoshop, I mean to Flash, then they don't work. So we'll go ahead and move this opacity down for the gradient. Hit OK, and maybe open up one of these. And probably like lower this one, so you'll see, I guess, the difference and everything. And then I open put my new layer again. Now this is all the effects that I want to keep on the image, and I go to image, and apply image, okay, disable these, and there's my new image. Just like that. I mean, I can go back, change this image out if I wanted to. If I wanted to erase something, come over here and erase it. But as long as I put the apply image and whatever whatever effect I have on the actual stock or image then it's gonna stay like that um... and that's it you just you know use this picture here and you can just transfer it into a flash and just test it out for yourselves and you know there'll be more ways of showing you all how to do the different effects that I use for my mixtape covers and my MySpace layouts or just editing pictures period and you all will see that and that is it thank you all for listening if you have any questions you know just contact me and every all my information is going to be in the description to the to the right so just you know let me know what you think all right thank you all for listening